we now go to cotton guru manish daga uh, who is passionately attached to the cotton sector cotton production works very closely with farmers uh, in india cotton growers in india uh, manish you know our cotton sector is hugely challenged at least in the last two or three years our production actually is uh, <laughs> declined in in some way from the peaks yields are have declined in the last five or six years uh, uh this huge amount even uh, even uh, the culti cultivated area has declined from 13 million to 12 and a half million hectares uh, going forward the challenges are going to get worse so where does research development innovation how would you infuse r and d and innovation in strengthening our cotton production and the value chain i know it's a big question but uh, my request is if you can uh, respond in maybe 7 or 8 minutes thank you very much sure sure thank you chandrashekar ji and first of all thank you imc for making agriculture the core subject of this event today uh, there, there have been so many events but agriculture was only a part of that event and here this is the core subject so thank you imc three of the imc stalwarts are already you know uh, we are taking their advisories or engaged with them suresh bhai kotak is one of them the cotton man of india chandrashekar ji is one of them he is an advisor to our all india cotton fp association ashish ji is one of them his company bloomfield is uh, helping us get bio inputs on ground taking field trials the challenge uh, sindhu shekhar ji is very evident that production and productivity are the two things that we look at simultaneously if india is producing enough we are happy and if we are getting enough we are happy we don't look at even tomorrow only but on the day after tomorrow and the past has shown like we are resting on past laurel the past has shown that india has always got enough in the last 20 years since the bt revolution happened india has always got enough so we rest on those so those past laurel that we will continue to get enough but the years where did we did not get enough we conveniently forget 2011 where we did not get enough the market went up by over 100% 2022 again when we did not get enough the market went up by 60% now the business is whole on 2 to 5% the whole textile business runs on net margins of 2 to 5% when this prices go up by 50% 60% 80% once in a decade we think okay it's a one of a kind but so many industries at the lower level the ancillaries the supporting industry the ssi they get compromise here the big industries they do get but then they they, they rest on you no know, borrowed money so they do not take it seriously i am not demeaning any industry i am just bringing the seriousness here how agriculture has defined the future of india always a cotton surplus country and always a net exporter of cotton has given us so many benefits we do not need to forget that the whole industry has grown on that asset of having surplus cotton and now when we do not have enough then we run to the government that help us import more a pot a golden pot at the end of the rainbow is what we look at why can't we look at a golden pot below our feet we have the highest land in uh, cotton cultivation in india 35 to 37% we are the largest producers in the world 25% but we need to have that productivity cotton is a food fuel and fabric crop so all three needs to be balanced in that being the only certified cotton value in india i realize that we have actually realized only 5% of the value that cotton can give as suresh bhai always says cotton is a composite economy it is an economy on its own so research plays such important role here that we have the research in in africa when i had been last year on invitation of icsc the first thing they said that we can't believe you have so many scientists in india in africa we have to search for scientists who would give us the right advice we have the seed companies here in india which other countries do not have we have policies in place in india which other countries do not have so land seed companies policies scientists what more do we need we need more research to bring on the ground so research is available how industry can co uh, collaborate and cooperate here with the government and the research institutes to commercialize that get into field trials 
which I will share in one of my case studies and then get into commercial production is one uh, uh, you know, asset allocation part that we can look at. Second is the risk management part that we forget that risk on the raw material is huge for India. Cotton is 60% of the whole production cost for Indian textile mill and we are still 55% oriented more towards cotton input. So that is the risk part we should not forget. Research can mitigate that risk for the Indian industry and our export. At one time we used to, we used to export 12 million bales of cotton and now we are happy with 2 million bales of cotton. Is that enough? Cotton as a uh, standalone crop has that potential that we can export 10 million bales and still have enough in India. Apart from that, value adding cotton into more and more value added products using the byproducts of cotton can lead to more and all this should be based on research. Research has that much potential. Innovations, we do have innovators in India, startups are abundant in India. So many farm tech uh, companies have got so much funding. But do they really reach out to the farmers? Do they really have that validated data of real time farmer benefiting out of them? And if that is available, how can the industry utilize that for its own commercial benefit? So research and innovation connected together. Thank you. Thank you, Manish.